shiny cam test one. Johnny's little MT-03. It's a little 300. It is way small for me. My knees are like all the way up in here. I stand about six feet. So this is, <laughs> this is way too small for me. And I weigh about 200 on a good day. On a bad day, I'm about like maybe 205. 210 and uh on a really really good day when my workouts are on point i'm about like 190 so this is a little 300 i don't know what it's like to uh go 65 on this thing <laughs> the 90 has put about almost 300 miles on it and uh she likes it it's a little nerve-wracking for me because uh she's still learning but she'll get the hang of it this is her first time riding this long she's all getting tired <laughs> but i've always wanted to ride this way Every time I get to the uh, the highway, I turn around and go home. <laughs> but yeah, I hope, hope everyone enjoys it. A little bit of Shawnee's riding from Navajo Mountain, a little bit of Paige, and now me just past Kanab. Uh, just going back to Salt Lake, so.
every time I see cows on the road on the side, I really yell out, cow! <laughs> some cow sees me, some does not. Um, for anybody to like wonder about this bike and want to get an MT-03, with my height, <laughs> My weight, it's a little too small. It's good for beginners, but it's a little too small. And also, if you were doing this riding like right now, pulling 65 is a little, little too much for this. 60 is like the sweet spot. 65 is well, a little too much. It'll hit about 7,000 RPMs at 65. So 60 goes about 6,000, so it's not too bad. But going around a town, I can see this thing being like perfect. I really like this, this bike, but for me, for my height, it's a little too small. Steve really wants to ride a bike. It'd be cool to get him on one of these, but he's he's like 6'2, he's way too tall. So if anybody had a question about this bike and going what we're doing from Arizona to Salt Lake, it's a little too much. It can be done, but you're not doing 65, you're going to be doing 60 the whole way. Uh, it's not too bad with wind. I'm wearing an a adventure hat, helmet, so it has the top fin. It's not too bad. people go by it's like lining up behind us yeah this seems not too bad the wind is not horrible. All that face wind, there's no windshield on this. Uh, the uh, Tenere has that windshield. So all that wind gets pushed right into your face. And it's almost like, it's kind of hard to ride with the visor up when you're going about this, this speed or faster. But this it's all perfectly fine my visor's up i can go 65 with the visor up so that tenere to avoid that just get a little bigger uh, windshield windscreen and then that wind will blow right over your head but this is not even that bad my head's not bouncing around even with adventure helmet so it has that front that top uh, little like bill 
recorded it. Jeffrey's free for Uh, there was a bike, bicyclist, a road biker on the road. And I looked back at Shani and Cheyenne to uh, take a picture or a video. And I started pedaling. <laughs> I hope they got it. It'd be funny. Back to the old gray mountain. 
No one knows what ever happened to Kitty. All they know is he's gone. They say late at night, he could hear the coyotes howl. And you can hear the legend. Legend goes on that same year, there at the Gallup ceremonial, there was a stock contractor bragging about the worst horse he ever had. I'll give any man ten grand, any man who could ride this horse called dynamite. Little they know, understand what he's vision. Selling program. Well, he looked, took off his shawl and looked to the sky, watched the buzzard there. He got on his horse and rode out to the rodeo arena. And he walked into the rodeo arena and tipped his hat. He winked his eyes and all the way ladies went, Oh, Shahar. I'll try that horse, sir. Just lay that 10 grand there. And he got on the horse. And it all began like a bomb exploded. Dynamite went to the air. But Tizzy was right there. The horse bucked and snorted and made all kind of noises on the baseball. Day, my friend, dynamite was finally written. Legend goes, as he took off his hat, tossed it to the ladies. He looked at them and smiled, and he walked out to the north. Nobody knows what ever happened to him. All they know is he's gone. They say late at night, he could go up to the old gray mountain. You hear the coyotes howl, and you can hear the steeds, and you can hear the legend of Chitty. Field up, got off that little freeway, and <laughs> it's a little too hard on this bike to go 80. But it went 140 miles, and I was still at like half a tank. I'm pretty sure at 150, it would have dropped one bar. And it only took a gallon, 1.7 gallons to fill it up. Seven bucks. So it is a lot cheaper than a Tenerate. Tenerate costs us a little more. It's a little more upright, so a little more wind resistant. Dude scared me. <laughs> oh man, I was just cruising, having a good time, and then I I heard something, and then I looked kind of to my right, and he came up right next to me, and it started laughing. He like shook me a little bit. I was like, oh man, that's <laughs> oh, so funny.
It is Saturday, 8-12. Need to put some fuel in this thing. When I was riding here, the uh, battery kept dying on me. <laughs> neutral coming around that corner <laughs> Biggest thing why I like motorcycles. Gas is so cheap. So I'm sure this bike can get about 200 miles a tank. like six bucks to fill it going like a gallon and a half close to six bucks it's like I saw six <laughs> at about three sixty a gallon so And it's just so much fun like right now it's just it feels great the got a long sleeve on but no jacket and it, the wind just feels great
Oh, Dirk. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Better. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. 